Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 42 of Beating Up Noble, uh, little Shawnee people. That's the entire name of the series. We're having, we have to rename it because it's so evil. It feels evil. Try as they may to fight back, they just, they just can't. I mean, they try so hard. The siege time, three days. Three days! Tactics difference is huge. We're so advanced compared to them. <clears throat> okay, looks like we control all of it. So, if we were to just fully annex you, you would accept. It would get us 137% over. But we could just take all of this. And be, we'd be incredibly overextended. We'd have tons of rebellions. 54 aggressive expansions with the Shawnee, but they're... No one else even knows about it. Algiers, Aragon, Castile, they won't know about what we're doing. Aggressive act will upset all other countries by a base of plus 54. All other countries. Hmm. Why does it say one? Must be, I don't know. We gain 90 prestige for dominating the natives. Costs us no diplomatic power. Wow. Let's just do it. Let's just, I mean... I was, I was asking for something to spend admin powerpoints on. We've got all these men to put down rebellions. We've been, we're used to putting down rebellions. Let's just do it. <laughs> Portugal! <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so you guys are gonna combine. You guys can hang out here. I want two flanks, two armies. You guys are on autonomous rebel suppression. The fact that we are so, so overextended is going to cause serious problems. Um, but, so we're going to need to start managing this right away. And the cost to make them core is actually really low because they're such poor provinces. So let's just do it. Uh, we're going to run out of points though, so let's get the small ones. And now I know what we're spending points on for the next while. We're going to core all of it. And then we're going to convert it all. And we're going to just just be evil. Now Chesapeake Bay, we know about. And uh, unfortunately, France knows quite a bit about it. What are we doing? We're transferring trade power upstream. That doesn't help us at all. We need a merchant to steer it towards... Oh, boo. No matter what, it's going to go in a direction I don't want. But the trade power being transferred here doesn't mean anything, since we're the only one with any trade power there. So I suppose, um, maybe it makes sense to collect trade here. Yeah, that's what we got to do. we got to collect. So which one is least less important? Um, <clears throat> we've got one in Sevilla right now. We're collecting from there automatically. We've got one in Brazil who's collecting. If we don't collect from there, that 3.9 is going to go over here and then mostly stay there. So we've got to collect from Brazil. We, we, yeah, we just need to, we need to ditch Sevilla and just let the, the fact that that's our capital help and we'll collect from here. Hey, look, we have an, a neighbor, Tennessee. <laughs> Revolt risk, 21%. Wow. At least they're hopefully going to come up and they're not going to have very much power. Five months to convert. Now that is some serious power. There's some, some rebels. In Kentucky. Autonomous suppression, we've got a commander, we've got a commander. I think, you know what, if we've, while we're doing this, again, more deficit spending. <laughs> Just continue to go negative. 752 gold loan. We're allowed to have 17, right now we've got 15, so we can continue this chaos for a while. Hopefully long enough to actually get through the problem. 
Okay, these ships, um, I'm gonna put them all together. These are transports and stuff, and I want you guys to patrol to here. And it's gonna be a long patrol route, but I need you guys to go all the way down to here, and then you guys can hang out in the port, and then come back. Revolt risk is still decent there. Quite a bit of diplomatic power. We could get this. We're actually not ahead. Local trade power, naval force limit. Wow, we could get a lot of shipyards and then have a ton of force limits. Um, let's do it. I think I've gotten all my ideas. There's no more ideas to get until we unlock another idea group. And to do that, we need to get one more point in this one, but we're way ahead on this, so we're ahead by 16 years. And we're going to be spending admin points on this mostly. Let's keep coring. Go to 20. I could use my military power to put this down, but it's not going to make a big enough difference, I think. Look at that, we actually have trade power in the next node over. The Mississippi River trade node. But that's going to come right into here. Is that merchant there yet? No. We're going to get a lot of money out of this. We have so much trade power compared to them. Well, we did win. I'm going to need to keep that money. Three of my ports are blockaded. What? Darn pirates. Hmm. Uh, our force limit didn't go up very much by having all that extra land, though, so we're still spending tons on this. Hmm. maximum cap went up a little bit. Tariff efficiency. Oh god, I don't even want to look at this. We need so much more now. 57 overseas provinces. I don't think there's any way that we're going to get that. Hey, how do you guys feel about me? Do you know about what I did to your friends, the Shawnee? <laughs> no, not really. What about Castile and like my neighbors? Did they actually find out? Do they know about what I did? Competitor for World Dark. Oh yeah, aggressive expansion. So they did find out about it. So my direct neighbors know somehow. We need better whips. Our nation is extremely infamous. And there are a lot of people in Portugal that have taken exception to this. Alright, that's a stability drop from being overextended. We need to keep coring all this. Man, it takes just a couple years. A couple years of this. And we'll be able to core it all. We battled here and we lost. My barks on their way home got beaten up by the pirates, unfortunately. Okay, is our merchant here yet? He is. Wonderful. So now we are collecting 3.36 income from this. And they are barely able to pull any of it forward now. That's definitely a good move. We're still negative, don't get me wrong, but we're getting more and more from trade now. 19 gold a month from trade. I'd love to bump my trade even higher. I'm really... Ugh, I want to put down some of these... these units, but I don't. But then again, I don't. <laughs> Man, I hate being so in debt. Papal influence. I don't know how this works. I'm just going to keep bribing the same one to make sure that no one else can get him. Lack of good maps. We can get a claim on Fez. Sounds good. Our cast a spell eye against him. I'd say we got a pretty firm grasp on the Americas, as expected. Without with our reputation, our neighbors think that we are the spawn of the devil. 
and are all plotting our downfall. Nationalist conspirators are spreading lies and igniting rebel sentiment in Tangier. Huge revolt risk in Tangiers. Wow. Again, it's a problem from being overextended. Let's uh, put some, some guys in charge. Um, let's put some guys, stack them up on there. Expiring Cassus Belli. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. 100%. Wow. That is such a, a bold strategy. I don't know if it was the right idea. That's a bold move. Okay, where are our ships? Do they take that long to get down there? What are you guys doing? They're taking forever to repair. So not actually taking care of these pirates, and all this all this land is probably suffering from it. Being blockaded. Probably lack of naval patrols on some of them, maybe. Yeah, down here. That's affecting our income, man. Come on. Get to work. Who's gonna respond? This army. Let's I wanna see how much morale they have. So I can decide if I need to, um, if I need to actually get, sorry I'm talking in such broken sentences, so I can decide if I need to lower my, if I can lower my military maintenance just a little bit. I want to pay the bare minimum. Alright, 3.7 to 2.3, we have... They actually have the same level of tactics as I do. So, I'm gonna lower it. We'll go down by about 0.5. So, go down to 1.5. That'll still give us an, an edge on them. While lowering our expenses ever so slightly. Except for not really. Wow, that's a big loan. Our current 16 loans, and we're allowed to have 19. Man! Should I just... build tons of temples everywhere? And <laughs> I don't know. Oh, jeez. You guys, stay put until we can get those pirates put down. Here they come. Good. Another rebellion. Right, 2.3. Oh, they actually have more morale. Oh no, we're on the defensive. Okay, we're fine. Here, clear out those pirates for me, please. Which means that you guys can go out, go home and patrol Sevilla. And we're looking pretty good. Okay. With the discovery of the new world, we can get uh, lower diplotech. Is that what I'm buying? Am I buying diplomatic tech? Trade company. Wow. Naval equipment factory. Yeah, sure. Let's invest in the naval force. No. Let's do this one. Because I want to build a bunch of ships. No, I'm not. I'm not. Let's let's be re reasonable, realistic. I'm not building any ships for a long time. We're in too much debt. Wine will now be Proust in Banda Oriental. Cool. Actually, you know what? Part of the reason why our tariff income is so low is because we've got so few ships. We're only getting 22.8. We're getting... Like, I could have four more income per month just by having more ships. Plus, we could also get this... this reward. So to get it, we would need how many ships? 43. Do we even have the naval support? No, we don't. We can't even do it if we wanted to. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna deficit spend like crazy, like there's no tomorrow. We're gonna make a bunch of caravels to patrol. Why does that one take two years? Why? 
Why does it take so long to build that here? Revolt risk. Revolt risk in Porto is very high. Oh, they're Protestant. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll just not build it there then. Start with four. And we'll just get more and more of the, uh... Didn't we just do this? We'll get more and more of the income coming from here. We've got a huge, huge portion of it, but I want more. Granada actually has second most trade power. I could attack them. I think what I'm going to do is um, set Granada as a rival. And then I'm going to embargo you so that we can knock out their trade power a bit and get even more income off of it. We're still negative, of course, but it's coming down slightly. Very, very little, of course. Castile is getting completely consumed by Aragon. So let's just make sure that Aragon likes us. And how are we doing on our air? Do we have an air? There's me. My character is really good. We do have an air. He's kind of crap. How are we doing on that coring deal? Oh god, we're years away. Um, I'd really like to to actually do the religious stuff first since it's only five months. But I don't see an easy way to to see if it's been converted yet. Some of them are Catholic. Yeah, like this one. Let's do it because it's already Catholic. Okay, let's use the Catholic map, map mode, maybe. Not the culture, but the religion. Okay, so these are all Catholic. So let's core these ones. That one's good. And we're out of power. Okay, good. Who's gonna take care of that? Somebody taking care of that? We're gonna get this guy no matter what. He's mine. <laughs> it's gonna be ours. 65% religious unity, so as religious unity goes up, revolt risk goes down, stability cost goes down, everything gets better, and we're looking good. Okay, I'm going to take a little break here. I'll see you again in a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.